my name is John Mimler, and I'm representing the McHugh family uh, from the novel here. Uh, the Catholic McHugh, Nora, Evelyn, Maggie. Most of the years, there was no of that in England. But uh, they were born down in, in Melbourne here, down near the Mad complex, piece of land that I own at the moment. And they had a bungalow down there. And of course, after they moved away, and the rest moved there, Max stayed there. And she died there. Uh, after was, um, was a journalist and a cartoonist, but there was Common Her and the Slight of Star. And when losing his job with the Star, he seemed to have been tingled. He returned to take part in the rising and served in the Irish Citizen Army using the name James MacDonald. Now I don't know why he used the name, but he used that alias anyway. He was part of the contingent that occupied the City Hall after abandoning a plan to take Dublin Chester. Later he and three others occupied the, the Dublin Evening Mail office in Parliament Street in Dublin. After seems to have avoided imprisonment and returned to England, he died in Liverpool in 1919. He is the main person that I'm representing tonight. But uh, he was buried in our cemetery. And I was up there a couple of weeks ago. We're doing up the grave up there at the moment. Um, and yeah, as John, John mentioned, a lot of them are up there at the present doing the headstones and the, on the surrounding and all around it. Anyway, the headstone, the writing on the headstone is all in Irish, and it mentions that, that he served in the Rising. Now his sister, he had, he had two sisters, no, three sisters and one, and one brother. Uh, Maggie was, was the last in the bungalow. She, when during, this, during the Rising, she was serving, uh, using the bungalow as a, a hiding place for the troops, for the, to ambush the lorries as they came along to get the rifles and so forth. Just a, now I'm growing up in my early days with Maggie in, uh, in, in the bungalow and this is the story that she has related to me. She also says that uh, the, she hired all the, the, the Irish Republican Army troops there so they could ambush lorries and all that and take the rifles and so that was how we were to keep the, 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 the rice going there. Uh, and, and she was a nurse as well and she wanted to help the wounded IRA men there and, and collaborated with them against the English contingents. She also had, Sean McKeown also visited the, the house, the bungalow. The bungalow's not there anymore. But uh, she, she told me that Sean McKeown used to go there regular. And at times uh, his troops were hidden here all around there and most of the time. Anyway, uh, 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 Nor uh, Evelyn was in Dublin. She was in Dublin, and she had down somewhere along the line as well up there. And he had another sister, Nora. She had a, a shop there where TV's balance is now around there. They, they used to be in the shop there where Peter Clare and Janet Clark used to own the pub there. And she used to sell books and all that. It's all Irish books. And I grew up learning all the Irish songs and everything from her. That was what my whole teenage life was. And uh, and they, they had to be a French, they were a they were a family that was really involved right to the last minute with the Irish Republican Army and with the Rising. Thank you very much. <laughs>